showing time with pastor anthony melchizedek get answers to questions regarding the kingdom of god and general life issues today's question well my advice for citizens in particular and politicians in general that we promote and maintain the peace God has given to this country. I am absolutely sure of this, that there is a special hand of God upon this country. And therefore, we should not do anything to let God take his hand off us. The day God will withdraw his hands, his presence from this country, the kind of civil war that will strike this country, nobody will be able to survive. If we are not aware, I am telling you, our neighboring countries are wondering why Ghana alone, Cote d'Ivoire has had civil war, Burkina has had civil war, Ivory Coast has had civil war. But Ghana alone, in the midst of these countries, hemmed within, we've not experienced civil war since 1966, uh, since 1957, independent, almost 64 years. We've had it so, so free. It is simply because I believe that God is holding this country. And I believe that Jesus himself is the president of this country. Therefore, during this election 2020, let us do whatever we can. Not to provoke each other or one another. Let's promote peace. Let's maintain peace. On election day, go vote. Come home. Stay by your television or radio and listen to the results. Now, I want to make special appeal to politicians. The desire for power started in heaven. And the one who started his name is Lucifer. And because of desire for power, he lost his place in heaven. I want to plead with politicians. Let not desire for power cause you to do things that will make God withdraw his son from God. And you understand what I'm saying. During this kind of, this period, all kinds of things goes on in the spiritual realm of the kingdom of the dark world. I am pleading with politicians. If God wants you to be A or B, B. He will do whatever he will to put you there. Let us not use all kinds of means to gain power. At the end of the day, God's anger and wrath will rest upon this nation. Ghana belongs to God. He will still protect us as long as we stay in the circle of his will. Let us stay in the circle of his will so that he blesses us. I wish Ghana a peaceful election. Whoever uh, emerge as a president or a MP, let us all rally behind the person and then support the person so that Ghana will move forward. This country belongs to God and he's not going to give it to the devil. So let us do our part whilst God also does his part.